Hey everyone, it's Sam Hammer here. Um, I'm gonna be starting to do vlogs every week or a blog every week. Um, and I just wanted to kind of talk to you about the framework of that or, or what we're gonna be doing. So the first week of every month, we're gonna be talking about dreams, right? How to bring them out of you, how to, how to really make them bigger, how to grow them, um, things of that nature. The second week in each month, what we're gonna be doing is taking that dream and putting it into a vision, like a real life type of vision that you can work with, okay? The third part in each month, we're gonna be talking about building a plan from that vision. And then the last part we're gonna be talking about in the fourth part uh, of the month, we're gonna be talking about acting on that plan. Um, the first week we're gonna be talking about the, the dream. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right into that right now. Um, and what this is going to be is um, Dreams 101, right? Like the history of it for yourself. See, I kind of use this phrase all the time, which is, you know, no one grew up with a poster of a guy in a cubicle hanging on their bedroom wall saying, one day I hope to be average, right? We had like sports stars and movie stars and singers and actors and things like that. And even if you didn't want to win the, sink, you know, the, the last minute shot of the NBA finals or the throw the touchdown to the Super Bowl or or be in the concert or whatever, maybe you're shy, but you still like that. I think that everyone dreamed of the lifestyle, like that rock star lifestyle, right? Having parties and having the cars and the nice suits or the nice dresses and the nice purses and the, you know, the boats and a nice house and things like that, right? The lifestyle. We all dreamed of that stuff when we were growing up. Um, but now we, live, we work in cubicles, we're away from our family all the time. Um, maybe your construction, I don't know what you do, but it's probably not what you dreamed of. I think it's fair to say. I know that right now, I didn't dream of this. What I, I dreamed of being was a stockbroker or a, or a business owner that's, you know, like uh, Michael J. Fox, right? And, uh, Alex P. Keaton from Family Ties. And that was one of the things that I kind of remember. Um, you know, I never really knew I was going to be in sports because of my heart problems, but I definitely thought I was going to be like an actor either an actor or some kind of business guy that was a multi, multi-billionaire, um, you know, go to like Harvard College and things like that, which I didn't do. And that's just the way it is. So that's just the way it is, right? That's what we say a lot of times. That just happened. Here's my question is, where along the way did we become sedated and numb to the fact that we have dreams? Right, like when did we go ahead and give up those dreams? When did we sell them off, right? I don't think we ever did consciously. I think it's one of those things where over the years of adolescence and over the years of growing up, we kind of just were taught differently and kind of, you know, just nudged a little bit every day, every week, every week, every uh, month towards not really dreaming as much, being realistic, right? Those kind of things, right? So. As we're growing up, I see my kids, uh, you know, the five-year-old, he's like, you know, um, Daddy Sam, that's what he calls me. He's my stepson. He goes, Daddy Sam, can I bring up the Christmas tree by myself? I'm like, you're five. It's not going to happen. Like, you physically can't do it. You know what I mean? You know, those are things that he, he physically can't do. He sees us do it, right? But he doesn't know that he can't do it. So it's one of those things where physically, if you teach a kid, hey, you're not, you're not able to reach the top shelf of the cupboard, he understands it like this, right? They understand, hey, I, I can't do that. So they put that into a box where it's like, I know I physically can't do that, but I see adults do it. But then they also sit back and they question things of like, well, why aren't you doing this? Because physically you can go and become an athlete. Physically, you know, Daddy Sam, or dad for Max and, and Susie, my kids, you know, they talk about, or even or even Jared, who's my stepson, he's amazing, he's brilliantly smart, and he talks, he just questions everything, which I, you know, you have kids like that, it's kind of a blessing and a curse, right? So he, he a lot of times will question why we're not doing something as, a, as adults. You know, we talk very, very well about like the entrepreneurship mentality and things like that. And he's got kind of got this attitude of like, why don't you just do it? because it takes hard work. You know what I mean? Like it's not it's not necessarily a skill thing sometimes. It's just being a persistent on your dreams and going after it every day. And I think what happens is as young people, we're not told, "Hey, it's going to take a lot of hard work." 
to make that a reality. I mean, the people on the Wheaties box and the Olympians right now, right, that are that are on TV um, in, in the Olympics, they worked years and years and years to get to that point. They had a dream, right? They envisioned it. They had a plan, and they acted upon it. And they did it again and again and again and again and again. And that's what made them champions. That's what's getting them the gold, you know, the gold uh, and the silver and the bronze, and even competing there. I mean, how? What's the odds of even competing in, in the Olympics? You know, so. I think what we need to do as adults is kind of step back and say, what were my dreams as a, as a kid? You know, what was I passionate about? What did I love to do? What was I, man, when I grew up, I want to do this. Second of all, where did it go? Not where did it go wrong? You know, maybe you're in a better place. Maybe you're doing something you really do love. Um, but where did it go? Like, what made that dream kind of dissipate into the background and everything come up. It's like life happens, right? The people that carry their dreams out, life doesn't happen. They have goals, they have plans. They like every year, this is my goal. This is the plan. I'm going to do it, right? And then the biggest question is how do we get that back? If you want that back, what do you want to do? And we're going to talk about in the next section, you know, vision is we're going to talk about how we take a dream and change that into a vision and start acting upon it. So right now, I just want you to kind of contemplate what were my dreams as I was as I was young. Maybe you weren't even young. Maybe you were, you know, in your 20s, 30s, whatever, and you still have dreams. Uh, but when did you ever have a dream? What was it? And then kind of what made it kind of dissipate, right? What kind of made it fade off into the background? Was it somebody talking to you? Was somebody pushing you towards something else that you maybe not wanted to do? Maybe it was your parents. Maybe it was your coworkers. Maybe it was your teachers. I don't know. Um, was where people just kind of giving you suggestions along the way that psychologically trained you not to go in that direction. You know, was it a bad experience? I, you know, there's plenty of reasons why, but I would, I would implore you to go back and kind of, you know, examine that and say, what was it where I had a dream before and now I don't, like it's not there anymore or it is there, but I got sidetracked. And so number one, what was your dream? Number two, what made you get sidetracked or, you know, what were the circumstances or, or, or over time or in an event? Uh, and then third, I would say, uh, what's holding you back from doing it now? Or what did hold you, you know, what did hold you back? So either what did you hold, what did hold you back? Can't even talk right now. Or what is holding you back right now? You know? And then the last thing I would, I would ask is, what do you want to do about it? You know, if you don't want to do anything about it, Awesome. Cool. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, if you're content with the way things are, the way things are and everything's good, that's probably, that, that's awesome for you. You know, if you have dreams right now that are coming up, let's work on those. If you have had dreams that you want to work on and you want to get going, let's work on those. So one is what was your dream, right? If you had some. Two was what made you get sidetracked? Three is what's stopping you from doing that either then or now. And then third or fourth is um, what do you want to do about it? You know, um, I know that uh, number three, a lot of things that hold them back is either money. You know, they, they got pregnant and had kids. They got married, you know, things of that nature. So I, I understand that life happens, but let's figure out, let's diagnose exactly what it was because then we can sit back and go, okay, so it's the kids. So it's really not about the kids. It's about the time or the commitment with the kids. So how can we, how can we move that, right? And that'll be in the third stage of planning stuff. So um, give me your feedback. I'm going to be starting a uh, um, website here in a little bit. That's going to be more dedicated towards some other stuff. Um, and it will have these uh, blogs on there as well. But, hey, I'm just throwing this out there. I think it's a great thing. I had this idea and this, and this kind of um, tagline, I guess, is what it would be. Um, a while ago, which was, you know, I talked about in the beginning was, you know, no one ever grew up with a, a poster of a guy in a cubicle hanging on their bedroom wall. And I think if you think back to that, you'll really understand that that's true. Like we were born to be explorers. We were born to be adventurers. We were born to, you know, create and expand and go forth. And uh, we just over the years just kind of fizzled out. Right. So let's go through those four questions. And um, if you have anything, you know, message me in here. Any questions on that stuff? If you like anything, like the page, spread it out, whatever you want to do. Um, but 
This is Dreams. Uh, next week will be Vision. And uh, again, I'm Sam Hammer. And go ahead and dream it, envision it, and do it. Peace.